On July 17th, after a three-week bout with tendonitis, Tug McGraw returned to the Philly. He allowed just three earned runs the rest of the season, due mostly to his famous screwball, a wrong way curve that murders right-handed batters. We got a 3-3 ball game right here, and McGraw versus Monday on this pitch. Got him swinging. Look at McGraw. Ooh. You think he's not fired up? That comes flying off the mound. He struck him out with a screwball. He swung at it, struck him out. He popped him up, foul and playable. Don McCormick off with a mask. And he makes the grab. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Tug McGraw gets out of the jam. Tugger pounding that glove. Oh, what a miraculous job he's done for the Bills this year. Another screw ball. He popped him up, and that should be one of them. Pete Rose calls. Rose squeezes. One down of the 11. He's ahead of Parrish. Nothing in two. Him out. McGraw went right out and got him. Two out, two up and two down. Here is Roger Free. Right at the second baseman, Sizemore. Three up, three down, and there goes McGraw tapping that leg and he walks off the mound. So we've got extra innings at the end of nine. We could give you the end on the air today, but we may not be able to bring that to you. Morales is the batter. This could be the ball game. McBride coming in hard. He's there. That's it. So Tug McGraw comes in, got six straight Cardinals. This kid's got better power than his statistics show. But McGraw really put him away with two out. A three to one Philly lead. The ball is hit sharply. It's a trio. Manny has it. Throws the first. Phillies win. Strike. Strike three. Oh and two. Strike. is 3,000. Right back oh. to McGraw. I'll tell you, Bibby hit it. Breaking ball struck him out. Got him. Struck him out with a fastball. Two down. Ball two strike one to Jody. There's a base, rather a ground ball deep short. And Aguayo over to first for out number two. Come on, Ty, let's keep it alive now. We're listening at the time, and we're aware of all that. We're aware of this responsibility. There's a high hopper taken by the first baseman, and it's McGraw from Munzer on that put out. Fly ball, left field, doesn't look good. Greg Gross drifts back and waits. He's on the track, and he has it. And that takes care of that. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left. Final score, Phillies two, Cubs one. Oh, Otis can run, tie and run. Bouncing ball, Boa has it. One out, double play. When they say lefty, the people in Philadelphia know exactly who it is, Steve Carlton. Mike Schmidt, big hop, long throw. One out. Struck 
him out with a fastball. Smooth ball, he struck him out looking. He's two for three with a strikeout. Phillies shade him around the left center. Pitch to him, a little chopper to Rose. Phillies win it three to two. What a job by McGraw. You can see Mooney fastball. It's going to be a fastball. Started on the outside edge and broke it out over. Brent is out on strikes. Screwball. He's strike called by the third base umpire. Now Aikens wants to talk to him. He's out on strikes. McGraw gets his third strikeout. Duddier pitching. Tough play. They got him. What a play by McGraw. Look at him. He is really a hyper young man. Look at him. He talks to everybody. I got him. Now you guys go out and get him. A little moment of drama, and then he works his way, his way out of it. And the Philadelphia Phillies defeat the Kansas City Royals by the score of four to three. And that's Tug's second strikeout. One out, Garvey the hitter. So McGraw gets out of the eighth inning, striking out Burke. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Look at McGraw. He's going to get him going. Hey, I've got to like him for that. We go to the eighth inning. It's popped up in foul territory, Rose. One out. Bouncy ball, trio, big hop, has it. Innings over.
football history, Philadelphia has had to take a back seat to New York City. Well, New York City can take this world championship and stick it, because we're number one!